Hey everybody, today we're talking about a new app I built which you can use online, Thousand Minds Chat, your personal council of productivity masters. This has 1000 uh, productivity agents such as rapid decision making agent, glide path, brand strategy alignment, web based collaboration, user forum feedback. There's a thousand of them. You can also search for them here. For example, if you are interested in agile, you can search and find the ones that you're looking for. The search is in real time. And then when you find the one that you're looking for, such as maybe X system integration or something or hierarchical test structuring, you can actually start talking with it. Also, you can download the entire thousand system messages along with the full source code for this web app from my Patreon. Links to the web app plus my Patreon is in the uh, description. Um, and when you become a patron, you also get access to 400 plus other projects plus future projects. So you can just start chatting with it right away. There is a beautiful animation. As you can see, this is all about hierarchical task structuring. We can say, tell me more about this. You can, uh, uh, I made a typo, but uh, you can actually just talk to it, maybe try to learn about different productivity hacks. Uh, here you go, we got our answer. Uh, or just change it, uh, maybe if you have a, a solution that you would like to uh, learn about, you can find it here, or just learn about general uh, productivity solutions that uh, you can master. This you can use at thousandminds.up.railway.app. The link to the app is in the description, but like I said, you can also use, you can also download all thousand system messages for these agents by becoming a patron. Uh, it does require your API key to be set. The API key is stored locally on your computer and expires in 48 hours. Uh, so I have generated 1000 system messages for this. As you can see, it's quite extensive and the application is a fast API web application and the backend for it is very simple. We just use a simple JSON file to load the system messages and we have two endpoints to one, the homepage endpoint, the slash endpoint to serve our index.html. Uh, API to slash topics endpoint to actually retrieve the topics based on search, sorry, to retrieve all the topics and API search and uh, query to actually uh, get the system messages loaded and API slash chat to pretty much have a chat with that assistant or agent. So uh, the most of the magic happens in index.html, uh, app.js, and the styles.css. And I will let my AI code explainer explain this here in a moment. But the I think I really am really liking the designs that we can create by just simple um, HTML, pure HTML uh, JavaScript approaches. We are using Daisy UI, Tailwind and pretty much anime.js where needed. It's pretty lightweight and it really looks beautiful. I mean, its performance can be optimized, but um, I haven't taken time to do it, but it works. So without further ado, I'll let my AI code explainer explain the code for you. If you like this project, you can download it along with all the thousand system messages. You can use it free online, like I said, go to thousandminds.up.railway.app. It's also in the description and in the comment. You can, by becoming a patron, you'll also have access to my AI code explainer if you like the, the explanations it creates. Thank you. In this initial segment, we load essential modules and set up key constants to prepare our application for action. We're importing various modules, setting up our OpenAI API with a secret weapon, the API key, and declaring a model to simulate profound chat interactions. Furthermore, some JSON files will provide canned topics and messages for the chat ensuring our AI doesn't accidentally go rogue. The fast API setup, mounted with static files and templates, makes sure our web service has a pretty face and is open to the world, thanks to Core's middleware. This segment features data handling and validation. We define a function load system messages to fetch our insightful system messages from a JSON file. In essence, this is the coded mechanism behind which topics and conversational nuggets the AI will have at its disposal. We also define two pedantic models, chat message, handling input from users with a topic and a message, and chat response, preparing the AI's thoughtful responses. These models are the data handling virtuosos, ensuring our incoming and outgoing data conforms to expected patterns. No sock puppets here. 
This snippet is like a backstage pass to AI's brain power, handling OpenAI client requests. Here we define getOpenAI client, a helper function designed to authenticate with OpenAI using an API key. It decides whether to use the global system key or a provided alternative, ensuring we're always ready to fire intelligent responses. In typical IT fashion, missing API keys trigger dramatic HTTP 401 errors, guaranteeing unauthorized access doesn't sneak in like an uninvited guest at a VIP party. Here we make the code accessible through various endpoints, turning theory into practical action. Our web service has a few routes, a route that invites users in by rendering the index.html, and two for accessing topics. One delivering a random list of topics and another that allows users to finesse their search queries through a primitive fuzzy search. Like a chameleon, the app can adapt to users' search whims, built by shuffling and filtering topics from the loaded system messages. This setup gives users a sampler of discussion themes feeding into their AI chat narratives. This crucial segment handles interaction between users and the AI, orchestrating a symphony of requests, responses, and errors. When users post a chat message, we ensure the topic is valid, retrieve relevant system messages, and engage our star performer, the GPT model, to produce a cogent response. Users supply a message plus an API key if they're feeling extra careful. And voila, our AI conjures up a response, unless something goes awry, in which case HTTP exceptions raise their heads, wine glasses in hands protesting issues or missing topics in style. Here our app springs to life, handling requests on the local host via Uvicorn, a lightning-fast ASGI server implementation. This section kickstarts the Fast API app, handling HTTP requests and responses for our chat services. Running this segment is akin to firing up a rocket, albeit one designed for smooth, human-like conversations rather than space travel. In this HTML snippet, we craft the enchanting outer layer for the Thousand Minds chat experience. Users are drawn in with an attention-grabbing dark-themed interface, including a top bar touting affiliation with Echo Hive. Key features are implemented here. A modal pop-up teasing exclusivity for patrons, top bar links, and an API key coordinator button for users wishing to directly engage the AI. This part demonstrates our flair for design and user engagement, maintaining interaction with intelligent AI while promoting further exploration of premium content. This section handles intimate encounters with API key management through a modal. Users are prompted to enter their OpenAI API key here. A professional interface nods to user data privacy with stored keys expiring within 48 hours, securing their usage. This piece enhances functionality, empowering users to authenticate and leverage AI power securely and efficiently without extra effort. This tool underscores the app's commitment to both security and user autonomy. This section forms the heart of the UI, serving as the user's command center. With an inspiring header, a user's search bar aims to streamline inquiries, assisting with a gentle gradient appeal. Below lies the topic selection area, structured to assiduously slip relevant topics into users' hands, eagerly awaiting selection. Altogether, this invigorating UX experience tilts the user interface towards a charming, productive journey, assisting users efficiently with topical engagements for well-springing AI conversations. Here lies the mystery unveiled. User-selected topics, animated loading bars, and chat interfaces are the lifeblood that circulates vibrant exchanges between users and AI. When a topic is chosen, it steers thematic focus for conversations, like a stage spotlight guiding dialogue. The chat interface provides a channel for robust engagement, furnished with intuitive inputs and relaxing animated dots, hinting the AI is earnestly contemplating its next word of wisdom to share. This segment is the user's playground where interaction and creativity unite. This snippet paints the visual atmosphere, bringing depth and character to the chat application's interface. Styles handle the aesthetics and readability of user and assistant messages, encapsulating content in elegant panels. CSS animations accompany loading dots, injecting dynamic visuals that keep users entertained while AI considers responses. This styling package enhances user experience, ensuring seamless interactions with both flair and function, akin to providing a charming waiter service in a five-star tech restaurant. JavaScript here primarily manages the patron modal's visibility. A timer triggers its display after 40 seconds, gently pressing users to explore Patreon offerings, 
a nudge that feels like a balloon drifting into view, gently reminding of extra opportunities. It's not just a tease, but a code dance, closing modals gracefully when users drift away, maintaining focus on chat revelry. Here, JavaScript enhances interaction without stealing focus, tying UI components more closely to user dynamics. This snippet sets up the foundational elements that the rest of the code will interact with. It includes global variables to keep track of the state, such as the current topic, whether a process is ongoing, and a list of topics. It also grabs various elements from the DOM by their IDs. These elements are crucial for handling user interactions, such as searching topics or entering chat messages. Lastly, it initializes an animations object to manage animations for topic rows, ensuring that they move in a visually pleasing manner, or at least don't get stuck on the wrong end of the screen. Think of this as laying out the stage for a play. In this segment, the focus is on initializing the application. The init function is the main entrance point, akin to turning the lights on before a big show. It checks for a stored API key, arguably the VIP ticket, to ensure access to certain functionalities. If the API key is valid, it is loaded for use, otherwise, it's cleared. The function fetches the topics and sets up the initial topic rows for a visually engaging user experience. Finally, it sets up event listeners, so you'll be ready to capture all those lovely user interactions. Much like brewing a nice cup of coffee in the morning, it's all about preparing for upcoming activities. This snippet is all about style, specifically how the API key button appears. You wouldn't wear your pajamas to a meeting, right? Here, if an API key is detected, the button changes to a lively green to signal readiness and VIP access. No key, back to a somber gray, quietly but firmly suggesting that you should set one. This small visual change ensures users immediately know whether their API key is registered, streamlining the interface experience and preventing potential confusion. It's about keeping things clear and maybe adding a dash of color to an otherwise plain journey. These functions are about managing the rows of topics on your UI. Consider this the scrolling showcase. Set up topic row creates topic buttons and cleverly repeats them for what seems like infinite scrolling. It gives your page a whoa, how long is this list effect, which is actually a smart illusion. Then there's update topic rows, which divvies up topics into three distinct rows. Think of it as organizing your bookshelf into fiction, nonfiction, and verbs in foreign languages categories. It refreshes the animation state to ensure everything moves smoothly, pausing animations during searches to keep UI interactions focused and straightforward. This snippet is the technical equivalent of a well-rehearsed slow dance routine. Using the Anime.js library, it initiates the scrolling animation for topic rows. It makes sure each row moves in the right direction and pace like a turtle in slow-mo, taking 60 seconds for one grand cycle. The concept is to engage users visually without overwhelming them with jarring movements. With the content repeated three times, viewers can enjoy smooth, continuous scrolling of topics, while the magic behind the scenes keeps everything looping seamlessly. Here we're tacking on the sign for the open diner. Come on in, we're ready for business. The event listeners await user interactions to make the whole app lively. They manage searches, interaction with topics, and chat message sending, ensuring smooth engagement. On topic rows, entering and exiting pauses and resumes animations, aiming for a distraction-free selection. For API keys, we invite users to enter and store them securely with complete convenience and subtlety if they need to alter or cancel entries. The idea is to establish an interactive, responsive environment that engages users efficiently and intuitively. These functions handle the search and selection of topics. Handle search listens for input changes in the search bar and filters topics in real time, providing immediate feedback like a Google search that's on a caffeine rush. Select topic comes into play when a user chooses a topic button, preparing the chat environment by updating the current topic display, revealing chat UI elements, and pausing animations. It even includes a welcoming message to kick off the chat session like a, a friendly waitstaff, ready to take your order right away. Together, these functions enhance the user interface by making it easy to explore topics and start discussions.
Think of this snippet as the chat maestro, orchestrating how messages appear in your chat window. The add message function is pivotal in handling new chat entries, whether they're from a user or the assistant. If it's the assistant, markdown parsing and code highlighting come into play to present text beautifully, a service no less diligent than a librarian meticulously organizing shelves. For users, plain text is sufficient and snappy. Finally, the function ensures that new messages are immediately visible by scrolling the chat to the bottom, maintaining the flow of conversation without interruption. It's all about keeping the chat engaging and seamless. We're entering the engine room where send chat message steers the chat exchange. It orchestrates the sending of messages and awaits responses, like a virtual postman nervously handling letters for speed and confidentiality. Initially, it checks if a topic is selected and whether processing is already ongoing. It demands an API key, underlining their necessity with a subtle or else. Once validated, user messages clear the input field and enter the chat, while loading animations pacify awaiting users. Error handling is scrupulous, catching incorrect API keys like a safety net in a circus act, ensuring graceful recovery without leaving anyone hanging. Ultimately, the message flow remains smooth and efficient, like a finely tuned engine roaring to keep the conversation alive and well. This last snippet offers the utility of a well-refined debounce function accompanied by the initiation of the app. The debounce function is a behind-the-scenes wizard preventing incessant calls to a function when users type or scroll with enthusiasm beyond the norm, ideal for search inputs where instant feedback might not be feasible. Right now, listen to me, I've been trying to toad, and you know, like I'd like toading, the fact that I can code and make things happen, but how do I do it? I mean, fast, with AI, I heard about it, it's easy, so, um, I came across 1000X Cursor course. And that's great, you know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked, I'm, I'm telling you. 1000X, uh, you're coding. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. And some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well.